I play tag and you it for life. Yikes, you a clown, you do it for likes. Yikes, yes, it's tight, but it doesn't bite. Rip it right. done my intro hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's martha and i'm back with another video um so this is a long awaited um intro um life update video i'm because I'm still trying to figure out the settings because it's not really that bright in my room right now. And I'm trying to figure out the settings to make it look bright on the camera. Because sometimes it just isn't what it's supposed to be. Let me see. good here period okay i'm gonna set this up all right okay you're gonna have to move a little okay i can finally turn off this one hey guys this is awkward why is it awkward? I really don't know. I feel like I don't even know what to talk about. Thankfully, I made a note of all the things I want to talk about. So let's start with the obvious thing. Like, you know, I've been in Canada for like a few months now. Since like March. Like five months now been almost half a year right and I it just it's different okay um Canada feels so weird and just dry like it feels so boring to just be in Canada like it's not like I was even doing anything in Nigeria it's just it feels boring to be here you know what I mean I feel like there's no vibe in Canada whatsoever nothing it's just it's not giving anything but like unlike in nigeria when it's like like especially in the evenings it's just a vibe there's just a vibe okay you won't understand if you're not from nigeria there's a vibe there's no vibe here in canada boring as hell like don't even get me started oh shit my arm it hurts so bad um I want to get my vaccine today like I was literally vaccinated y'all I only got the first dose so I'm not like officially like vaccinated fully but I'm like vaccinated for the most part like I'm I'm vaccinated vaccinated and my arm hurts I got it today so my arm's still really sore. I'm trying to move it around as much as I possibly can. So just to like exercise it if you know what I mean. So you know. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about vac about being vaccinated. Like when I was there, I was like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Like I hate this. I want to go back home. Is it too late to run away? but it's not they actually give like a third dose to some people i did not know about that yeah 
So, guys. I recently got a job. I don't know if I said this on my account. I think I did. But I was looking for a job. And I recently got a job. And I have a work vlog that I already filmed. So, stay tuned for that. Um, I basically got like an event server job so it's like I don't have like a fixed place that I work I work in like a lot of places like I can't work in a lot of places just like they just tell me come here and work and I just go if like I want to take that shift if I don't I don't have to so it's really convenient if my, my lips are so dry it's really convenient if I want to, uh, okay, like I was saying, it's really convenient, like, if I, if I want to, like, if I'm going to school, you know, I just gotta show for some shifts, you know. Um, I don't know, when I first went to work, like my first day of work, I was like, okay, I'm ready for this, you know, I'm ready to be out in the world. I got there and it was just like, it didn't give anything, basically. I was so underwhelmed, when usually I would be overwhelmed by everything that that is social. I feel like my social anxiety hasn't been that bad lately. Which is saying something, because just being outside can really exhaust me. But it didn't. It literally didn't. Like, it literally didn't. And it was fine until I got home. It was like, when I'm at work, I'm like, fine, doing all these things. But once I get home, it's like, everything just hits me at the same time. Like, all that anxiety that I didn't feel throughout the day is like, oh shit, <laughs> this is so bad. Anyways, so, it's like, I didn't feel any nervousness, I didn't feel any, you know, extra, mm -mm, nothing like that, but, but, um, I don't really care about all of that. I'm getting money. That's all I really care about. Because a girl is broke. A girly is broke. Okay? I'm broke. Ouch. Woo. It's just me, myself, and I. Anyways. Like I was saying, the job is pretty convenient for like school. And school is starting in September, and it's August 30th, so, you know, it's starting real soon, like, real soon. And, I'm, I don't think I'm ready, but, like, at the same time, I am. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like when I don't, like, stimulate my brain, she, I enter into a rut, like, I just can't do anything like waking up is a task just even taking a shower and brushing my teeth is a task everything feels like a lot of work and when I'm in a rut like that it's so hard to have like a structured day and actually get stuff done because my brain feels like mush and she's convincing herself that we should not be doing anything which we should so, like, you know, and I was literally thinking about it the other day. I was like, my brain doesn't like to function if it's not getting, like, like constantly stimulated. And I've, also, I've already grown out of the habit of reading, like, just to learn, not just because I have to pass a test or whatever like reading to actually learn what I'm reading like I loved reading as a kid don't even get me started I was that kid who used to cry over grades 
And another funny part is now I hate those kids because it's like, what are you crying for? Like you got a 90 and I'm literally here happy over a 70 and you're crying. But I used to be that kid. I used to be that kid who would cry for 90% because I felt like I deserved 100 or like I made a stupid mistake and I'm like so sad about it. And I would genuinely cry like genuine tears. If you haven't already guessed, I didn't have a lot of friends in primary school. But I was a pretty smart kid. I'm not gonna lie to you. And then after I got into secondary school, it all felt so easy. Like all I needed to do is be in class. As long as I was in class, I would learn that shit. I did not need to do any extra reading. So because of that, I kind of just grew out of the habit of like reading to learn and not just not, you know? And because of that, I'm kind of happy about the um like my goal in life. Literally today I was thinking about it. Like if you don't know already, I plan to be a doctor in the near future, but that's like 10 years in school, okay? 10 whole freaking years in school. And I feel like that 10 years always felt like a lot, like 6, 10, six to 10 years, basically. It, to me, it always just felt like so much. Like, you know, when you're thinking about spending 10 years in school, you're like, shit, I don't even like learning. Like, I don't want to spend 10 years in school. But it's like, I don't like learning, but learning is the only thing that keeps my brain from rot rotting and turning into mush. So like, maybe I should be learning. And 10 years doesn't even seem like that much to me anymore because think about it, like I don't have any plans for the next 10 years. I'm not planning to have kids, not planning to be married, I'm gonna be single AF. So like what's stopping me from spending 10 years in school like it's not like I'm gonna be doing anything better in my life so I might as well just do the one thing that I've always wanted to do literally my inner kid will be like screaming like ever since like for as long as I can remember if you ever asked me Martha what do you want to be in life I will literally tell you a nurse or a doctor like I've always wanted to work in like the medicine sector and I really want to pursue that dream because I feel like my inner child is gonna be thankful for that and honestly grown ass me really doesn't have like anything else going for her I don't have any passions literally don't have any passions like I know it sounds bad but it's low-key true like apart from YouTube I don't think I don't literally do any other thing for fun like I literally do YouTube for fun and I feel like I should take YouTube more seriously which is something that I will do I do think I'm gonna be taking YouTube a lot more seriously now um, cuz I feel like it's not fair to you guys cuz to me it's just fun so I don't really push myself to like post like on a straight schedule no matter how much I say oh I'm gonna be posted on the schedule I don't do shit like I haven't posted for the last two weeks I didn't post for over a month and then I posted and then at two weeks I just stopped like girl what are you doing with your life literally what are you doing with your life Okay, the thing stopped, and I don't even remember where I was, what I was talking about, so I'm gonna keep going. Like, I think I was talking about my YouTube channel. Anyways, speaking of my YouTube channel, I'm gonna check. Hold on. Okay, we haven't hit it yet, but I'm still gonna thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. We're literally 7 subscribers away from it now. I'm gonna show you guys that. Do you see that? Shit. I'm trying not to show you guys like the other. You guys see that? Or am I, is that just me? Anyways. 
So we're at 593, 7 more to 600, so I'm just going to say it now because by the time this video goes up, it's probably going to be have reached 600. So thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers! This is literally insane. Like, a few months ago, I was literally at 51 subscribers. Like, it's literally on my book. Like, like 51 subscribers. Like... Like, it was 47, 51, 222. I am, like, now we're at, like, 600. That is insane. Like, um, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Absolutely fucking yes. So, like, you guys, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. It's literally free. And... If you subscribe and comment, I will read your comment and I'll like your comment. So comment something down below because I read all of my subscribers' comments. Um, so when it comes to content for my YouTube channel, I feel like I've been really leaning towards the immigration. Just because you guys always have like a ton of questions. And I genuinely want to like answer those questions because I feel like... I also had questions at some point and there were people that I watched and I asked that you know were there for me and I want to be there for you guys and I try to answer my DMs although some people have been abusing that DM right um, if you don't have anything any like proper questions to ask me please don't DM me like literally please don't DM me I I don't even want to talk about it. It's so traumatizing. I don't even want to talk about it. We're not going to talk about that, right? So, I'm just going to say, if I haven't answered your DM, like, just be patient with me. Because I am still trying to recover from trauma from opening one of my DMs. So, just, you know, bear with me. I'll answer it eventually, you know. We'll get there. Um, I kind of want to start a Depop shop. Like, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in my in my wardrobe that are like really cute, and I feel like will fit someone's aesthetic. Just not mine, cause ow, 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 ow. Okay, I'm gonna take this off, cause kind of. Ooh, look at where I got my vaccine. Ouch, that actually really hurts. Um, I want to start Depop shop because there's some pieces in my wardrobe that I feel like I personally won't wear, but not because they're ugly. Not because they're ugly. They're actually pretty cute, but I just can't wear them because they're not exactly something I would wear, and they just end up sitting in my wardrobe, and I feel like it would be so much better in someone else's, so... Why not open a Depop shop and put it on there? I kind of want to try on like all the clothes in my wardrobe because I feel like it will help me wear my clothes more because there's a lot of new stuff in there that I've actually never worn. Like I've never worn them so they kind of end up just being there like sis come wear us like please and I'm just like <laughs> I end up wearing the same clothes over and over fucking again when I have like clothes in my wardrobe. So I feel like I just need to try them all on and see how they fit, look how cute they are, and then I can like choose which one I want to sell, what I want to, you know, keep. So last but not the least, definitely not the least, I'm going to talk about my mental health. You know, it's, it's not been the greatest. Like I said before, when I don't get like stimulation to my brain, my entire life goes to shit because my brain literally turns to mush and I can't like do shit. And I feel like that's been happening literally for the past like two years. If you don't know, I took a gap year, like two, literally two years. That was not a gap year, it was two years. Anyways. 
Um, like I grew out of the habit of like just reading normally every day, so I turned to mush. Waking up was a task, you know, it was a whole ass chur. But I've been trying to structure my life and structure my days and you know plan out my days and plan out things I want to do and I feel like I've been trying to like push myself but I'm trying not to push myself too much because I noticed that whenever I have like one day where I'll be like super productive I'll get everything done I'll do everything I need to do laundry um, edit a video post a video you know and then after that day the next day I have such a a stupid day like I just have like a not so great day like a really bad day so I feel like whenever I push myself too much I have a really high high and then I come crashing down and so I'm trying not to just like do it all at once trying to you know give myself time to process that we're actually gonna start doing shit you know what I mean um and I feel like self care is something I've never been good at like not a f not at all I've not been good at self care and it's something I need, I'm starting to like get into you know I'm trying to like you know be that self care queen who's like always like putting on face masks and I was just talking about physical as well like right now I'm talking about, phys about physical self care I'm talking too fast but I also mean like mental self care too. But I really want to be that self care queen who's like waking up early, taking her vitamins, like making her bed, keeping her like environment clean. Cause you know what they say a cluttered room is a cluttered mind. So being productive and actually doing shit, you know, like that Pinterest girl thing, like you know, being that girl, like that girl know what I mean so yeah it's been quite a while quite a ride I've also been drinking a lot of water this is like 2.2 liters of water so I try to ha um, have at least one of these every day it's it's not being always so great because i've only been having like um a, like half but there are days where i'm like okay i'm so thirsty like i'm a freaking fish some days i'm drinking water every goddamn minute yeah life is a bitch like who even asked to be born like this is so hard for what like I didn't even want to be here oh and by the way do you guys want me to make a video on getting a job like the job applications where to get jobs where to apply for jobs because it took me quite a while to like get a job it took me months actually so I know a thing or two so maybe I can you know give you guys some pointers if you guys are like in Canada or planning to come to Canada you know where to f search for jobs how to find jobs how to write your thing stuff like that so if you want me to do a video on that just let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely do that this literally just popped into my mind. I kind of want to leave Toronto. I feel like if I'm going to school, like what, like right now I'm going, I'm getting my bachelor's degree. Like that's what I'm studying for, like to get my bachelor's degree. Four years. Four fucking years. Anyways. Like if, ouch. If I get my bachelor's degree... I'm literally not going to be in Toronto anymore. I don't want to be in Toronto. And I definitely don't want to be in Ryerson. Like, fuck Ryerson. After a bachelor's degree, I'm going to look for, like, a, a school that I feel like would be great for me. And move away from Toronto. Because 
I don't feel like we're vibing. You know what I mean? I feel like me and Toronto aren't like... We're not sisters. We're not besties. We're not friends. We're acquaintances. And I just... I don't fuck with that. Okay? Okay, it went off again. But I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about my room. I don't know, I think I've said this in another vlog, but I'd be forgetting. I feel like my room decoration is gonna be like a, you know, step by step shit. I might just be like fuck it into like a whole room transformation, but don't don't count on that because it probably won't happen. So don't count on it. But when I when I feel like I'm done, like you know, getting my room the way I want it to be, I'll definitely do like a room tour, you know, show you guys like the whole room and everything and get you know what I got, blah blah blah. Yeah. All of the shebang. Um, but anyways, I think we've come to the end of this video. I have rambled for more than 15 minutes now. It's probably been at least 20 minutes. There's going to be a lot of footage to go through, so I'm going to just stop right now. Because if I don't, I'll probably find something else to ramble about. And now I'm literally rambling about rambling. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment something down below because I read every one of my subscribers' comment. And make sure to subscribe because we're literally about to hit a thousand soon. Really, really soon. We're gonna be hitting a thousand. And, you know, make sure you're part of that family. I don't know if I've said this before, but when we reach a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do a live stream. And, you know, we can chat and relate. I can answer all of y'all's, like, pressing questions. Because I have questions I've been ignoring. I will answer all of those questions for you guys. So make sure to subscribe. Share this to your mom, your aunt, your grandma. Like, everybody needs to, needs to be watching. Okay? Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Because I have nothing better to do. Bye!